I'm Scott Stein, and back to school time is pretty much upon us, and we're entering the holidays, and you want to get a bargain, and you look in a circular, and you see a laptop that's $199, and it sounds tempting. What is it? Well, it just might be a Chromebook, because Chromebooks running Google's Chrome OS are gaining in number, and a lot of people find them pretty useful for a pretty bare-bones experience that's web-based and provides a lot of the stuff that a laptop might give you in a lower price point. Question is, why aren't these Chromebooks better looking and performing? And I'm going to leverage that onto the Acer C7. The Acer C7 has been around since last year. Now this Chromebook is $199 or $229 depending on the tiny spec bump you get inside. Whether you get 2 gigs of RAM, a Celeron processor, and a 16 gig SSD, or whether you go up to 4 gigs of RAM at 229 this model is the 229. Now keep in mind that's pretty much exactly the same price as the new Nexus 7, that little 7-inch Android tablet that's pretty slick. Why would you get this versus that? Well, of course, this has a keyboard. This has a trackpad. It runs full web environment style apps. So maybe if you want to use Google Docs and not feel like you're being truly hampered, this might give a better experience for that. But Chrome, while it's made advances, is still not really great for offline. It's really meant to be used online. And the battery life on this is still not great. This is about maybe four hours of battery. Now, a lot of tablets now are getting 10, 11 hours. The new MacBook Air, 10 hours, 11 hours. I mean, you should be expecting 10 hours of battery life. This doesn't cut it, although it does come packed with ports that seem like they've come from another time period. You've got USB 2, you've got full Ethernet, you've got VGA on the side. That's because this thing is actually pretty much a netbook. This has been an, a retrofitted netbook uh, through and through that has been purposed to run Chrome OS. And I think it's time that we had models and designs that fit Chrome OS, sort of flagship Nexus style devices. And we got the Chromebook Pixel, but that is $1,200 plus, dollars, runs beautifully, but is way too expensive. And what about the $300 price area? Why isn't there something like the Nexus 7 for Chromebooks? It's not here yet, and pretty much on the Google Play Store, your options might be the Acer C7 at the moment, or the Samsung Chromebook for $250. They're pretty similarly spec'd out. I might lean towards the Samsung one, because the battery life might be a tiny bit better, and the design feels a little more comfortable. Because with this trackpad and keyboard, and kind of subpar display and speakers, you're not going to have a lot of fun using this unless you're just using it to write emails and documents. But if you really, really want a bare bones Chromebook, netbook type experience, I'm not going to hold you back. Go for it, just be forewarned. I'm Scott Stein, and that's a look at the Acer C7 once again with 16 gig SSD. Last year we looked at the one with a 320 gig hard drive. Happy shopping.